Hello all, welcome to 100page.com. In this video we are going to see about JSON Web Keys. This series is all, all about JSON Web Token. Uh, where in the first video we have seen about introduction to JSON Web Token and in the next video we have seen about uh, JSON Web Signature that is how to sign a JWT token and next is a JSON Web Encryption that is about how to encrypt the JWT uh, token and finally we have seen a nested JWT token where we have, uh, where we have signed and encrypted a JWT token and also we have seen how, how to place a JWT token inside a another JWT token uh, this video shows uh, this video going to explain about the JSON Web Keys, which is a supported specification of a JWT token uh, where it represents data structure uh, to specify the cryptographic keys and related components. Before that, I want to touch up the basics of uh, basics uh, where uh, let's assume this is a JWT token. In this, uh, like uh, it is signed by a sender's private key, which is represented in ellipse here. In the receiver send, if if you want to uh, verify the signature of this JWT token, you need the public key of the senders. Uh, I'm going to explain. Uh, I'm going to explain the two use cases where where the JSON Web Key Resolver is come in handy for uh, signing or decrypting the JSON Web Token. Like let's assume like you are uh, you are receiving you are receiving the JSON Web Token from the senders end, and and in addition to that you are getting a public key in a hmm, in a in a in a, in a in a Java object, okay. So uh, I'm I'm going to show a program where where we can where we can leverage the JWK's verification key resolver to resolve the public key and verify the signature of the JWT token. This program explains uh, how to use the JWK's verification key resolver, and this program is posted in the hundred by startup page where you can uh, where I have provided a link in below this video. You can access uh, and uh, copy it for your testing purpose. The first part of the code is like as usual, like I'm creating a clients, um, and this part of the code is just signing the key. This is, these are all I have explained it in the uh, earlier videos. Now I'm I'm going to explain the receiver side. Let's assume like this part of the after the line number 62, this part of the code is executing in the uh, receiver side. Okay. So here, uh, this RSA bug is received as a uh, like a Java object from the sender's end, and how we can use it, how we can resolve this uh, public key to verify the signature of the JWT token. So first, for this, you need to create a RSA JSON web key, and you have to set the algorithm. What is the type of algorithm, and what is the use? That means like we are going to sign or in, uh, decrypt whatever it is. What is the use of it? Uh, I'm going to sign uh, like uh, this is used for signing thing. Actually, so I'm using SIG, and uh, key ID is uh, like just an ID of a key. So after that, we have to use the uh, like a JSON web key verification key resolver where you pass the keys. Like you can have a multiple keys because it, it takes the list of JSON web key. You can key you can pass multiple keys. And uh, and uh, and while while verifying while verifying the key result while verifying the JWT token that is at the consumer that is when you, when you are building a consumer object you have to pass the JSON Web Key Resolver uh, I mean like a JWK verification key resolver object so where it takes a list of uh, JSON Web Keys we pick up the key from the public key from this list and it will try to uh, verify the signature if the signature is uh, verified then it is then it process the claims. Okay, in our, like uh, as we have seen the verification that is for signature verification. Uh, is there is anything for a de uh, decryption key uh, resolver? Yes, there is a there is an object there is a class called JWK's uh, JWK's decryption key resolver. You can use this. You can you can leverage this class to resolve the public key for decrypting the uh, JWT token. Let me run this program. Okay, so it has it has run now. So first is like this is the token we have generated. I mean this is the client claims so that we have generated in the receiver's uh, sender's end, and in the receiver's end. So with the help of that uh, JSON Web Key WK verification key resolver, we have uh, we have we have uh, verified the token and we have processed the client. This is the signed JWT token which is sent from the sender's end. Okay, so this is the one use case. In all the cases, like we can't receive the public key as a Java object. Uh, like in some cases, let's say, like if you are communicating with the remote servers like Google or Facebook, you need the public key of those servers to verify the token. 
and uh, there, there may be there may be a solution like uh, perhaps you can store those or uh, uh, you can request those public key at initially or before communicating and you can store it in your trust store but that is not a viable solution because like in any cases like if the uh, if google or facebook or any remote server has changed their private key and you need to update your trust store accordingly uh, and also like it is very difficult to manage like if you are start communicating with more than five or six servers five or ten servers uh, like uh, the key management is a very diff uh, very cumbersome process so for that actually uh, you can we can use the uh, like a one of the one of the class provided by the jw case uh, where we can access the public key from the server directly and resolve it and we can use it for verif verifying the signature verify or decrypting the uh, jot token let's assume like uh, like uh, let me explain this uh, in the sender send they uh, this is a sender send they have sent a token to the receiver end and this token is signed by the private key uh, private key of the sender so you need a you need a public key of the sender to verify the signature for that uh, like uh, uh, for that you can use the uh, like uh, you, you can use the uh, https jwks uh, that is the class which is used which is provided by the jot uh, like a uh, jot specification sorry jwk specification where we can access the uh, public key and resolve it uh, like in this case public key is served as a part of this web service that this is the location where i have uh, this is the location where i have posted the web services where it is going to show the public key of the jot token which is signed by the sender so here uh, this is hosted in the uh, local web logic so you can see here so it is a uh, key rsa and uh, what is the uh, id and what is the use uses for sign signing algorithms rsa so in this is a public key so uh, like here this rest web services will show this public key and we, can, we will see the, we will see in a java program how we can access this uh, uh, this public key and verify the signature so here so this is the code this code also i'm going to post in the uh, 100bits.com page uh, where i have provided the link below you can access that page for to get this program so first off is like it's a sender shop where it is as usual like set building the claims and uh, and this is my the private key and signing the private key uh, i mean signing the jot token with this private key okay in the receiver send there is uh, receiver send you can see you can notice that i'm using a https jw case where the same link is provided which i have shown in the browser so this class will retrieve the public key from the uh, all the public keys from the uh, sorry all the keys hosted from the from the rest of the, from the from that service so it will build a list and i'm printing the list for our testing and we have used the same jwk uh, case verification key resolver which we used in the last last use case and we can pass that list of thing and finally we will set it in the consumer building the consumer and it will, this will help to verify the signature of the token once it is verified we can pass the client let me run this program So here, actually, the start initially we have uh, this is on the sender or sender send where we have built the, the JWT token with the specified claims, and in the receiver send, uh, like uh, this is the signed key which is sent to the receiver send, and this is the uh, that for loop which we printed that is like the keys which we uh, like using the HTTP JWKS uh, class we have uh, retrieved the key from the web server I mean sorry uh, from the remote server and it get printed over here. So, which is similar to the this is the uh, for loop which print this part of thing. That means like here only one key is uh, list, uh, served in the server, so only one key is resolved. I mean, sorry, only one key is printed here. After that, we have the the token is verified and the claims are processed and printed here. This is the way we can use the JWKS to resolve the keys which is hosted in the remote server or uh, you can uh, if you are getting it in the local object and verify and uh, decrypt the decrypt the chart token. Thanks for watching this video. This is 100 for more tutorials. Thank you.